Today we're going to look at spelling books. This one is Spelling 2, 2013 edition from Seton. And what they do here is, oh, I love Seton's artwork and all their books. Here's your contents, sight words, short A word, short vowel, long vowel words, words ending with different, it looks like a lot of ERs and some things like that. Now, lesson one, what they would do is you read this on day one, and then they usually uh, just read some phrases aloud there, and in first grade, they would circle some words. You would do a word practice page the next day, just write the words, and then the next day you would do ABC order, and then on Thursday you would do a rhyme time, and on Friday you would take a test or whatever you have your child do. Now this is going to vary slightly every week, very slightly. It's um, mostly the same every week, but as you get further along in the back of the, in the back of the book, we have ABC order again there. You have beginning letters, um, printing the words, um, printing words. There's a review week there, and we have our review there. Beginning letters there. There's more ABC order. So it's pretty much the same thing, um, and that's great. I do love Seton very much. Um, here is an everyday spelling book, and I like this one a lot, too. Um, the their table of contents is extensive here. And this is something you might find in an old public school, I would think. But um, see, there's some words here, and that would be day one, and then day two you would do this. You know, just some little fill in the blanks and work there. And day three is always a paragraph that you need to proofread. And then day four would always be a little game or some multicultural connection. And then day five, you take your test. And it's pretty much the exact same throughout the entire year. Um, it does move into cursive too, just slightly. And then for seventh grade, here's another Seton book. They would do let's see a table of contents. Let's see if I can find this table of contents. There you go. That's table of contents. Thirty-six lessons. And number one. This is what the pages for seventh grade look like. You have quite a few words. You're gonna sort things by consonants. Gonna do definitions. Gonna do some sentence work, some story time work. And you have lots and lots of wonderful pictures in the Seton books. I really love the pictures in the Seton books and the new one too. Now I'm sure that it, again with Seton they do vary things up a little bit. It's not exactly the same every single week. Um, but it's it's very similar. They're, they might have two or three different options depending on the grades. Um, another option for you that I got from Calvert a long time ago. This is fifth grade. Now this is exactly the same as the fifth grade book for this one, except for it's on CD. And this one just has games for the kids to play. They take their pre-test online or on the CD. They take their post-test on the CD. They have a game to play every day. And it's just completely on the computer. They're not writing out the words at all. So um, that is another option. Now, um, one other thing that I did when my oldest daughter was in eighth grade, I just downloaded this off the internet. I found a list and I broke them up into, I guess, I think it was like 20 or 15 words per week. And on the first day she would, you know, do a pretest. On the second day she would um, write all the words, maybe three times each. Um, one day we would write a sentence with every word. One day we would look up words we didn't know the meaning to. And then she'd take a test on that Friday. Um, that is another option you can do, and that's completely free. But um, this last year, I did spelling one with my son, and this year he'll do spelling two through Seton. And then next year, depending on how this year goes, because because if he's getting bored with the same old, same old, we may vary and go to this one just to give him something to break up and do something different. But I I don't really have a favorite. I um, they're both very good programs, and um, they're going to learn a lot through both of them. But, um, you know, it's up to them. And then uh, for sixth grade, what I did, my um, 
My daughter did easy peasy all in one homeschooling. That's www.allinonehomeschool.com. And if you click on grade six, they have a foreign language. And I had her do that. And what they do for the first half of the year is they grab words in English and you have to see how they're spelled. You write them down, you learn them in French and Spanish and Latin and you look at the similarities and the differences and the meanings and I thought that was a really good alternative to spelling because spelling does get you know you learn how to spell words for so many years and then you know it's just a nice little break nice little change but you're still learning how to spell it's just not what they think it is so I hope that gives you guys some insight into some options and like I said I love Seton I love the everyday spelling the Calvert series was wonderful I like the easy peasy um I haven't really had much experience with anything else. I just um, haven't looked at those books, but if you have any suggestions, please comment below and uh, let us know what you think. Thank you.